So here's everything we know about the new Oppo Find N3 that's going to be coming out later this year. Starting off right away, it's going to be a larger inside display than the predecessor. So obviously right now, for the most part, every cell phone that comes out is sitting at a 7.6 inch inside display. We did look at the most recent Galaxy Z Fold 5 and we saw that the leaked specs are saying that it's also another 7.6 inch inside display. So how is Oppo going to change the game? Well, they're going to be giving us a 8 inch inside display and a powerful 50 megapixel OIS triple main camera. Now, if you're sitting there and saying, wow, I wish I could get my hands on one of these because, again, they're only released in China. That's why we talked about in a video two videos ago, OnePlus is just rebranding Oppo phones and releasing them. The Oppo phone or the OnePlus phones come out August 29th is just an Oppo Find N2 rebranded. So that means most likely next year, the Oppo Find N3 is going to be rebranded by OnePlus. So if you want to get your hand on this phone, you're going to be able to, but next year in August. If you want to get a Find N2, August 29th is when that does go ahead and release. Now overall, we can expect everything we got from the Oppo Find N2 for the Find N3 across the board, right? We're most likely going to see a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor in it. We're going to see 120 hertz on both displays, outside and inside display. A 6.5 inch outside display, which does go ahead and beat Samsung. Samsung currently is rocking a 6.2 inch outside display. So this is a tad bit more of an upgrade. It's also going to go ahead and come in different variants when it comes to storage options. Up to one terabyte and of course 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is more than the Galaxy Z Fold series that comes with 12 gigabytes with 4 gigabytes virtual RAM, which is not actually good RAM, it's virtual for a reason. <laughs> it uses it in gaming. Let me say it like that. When you're gaming, you can turn it on and it gives you extra gaming RAM, but it's not really that amazing in all honesty. Nonetheless, though, again, we're not going to see this until sometime in December. So this is going to kind of be a bit of time before we start getting true specs and knowing exactly what's going to be coming with this phone. Here's the thing, though. Huawei's phone that just came out, the Huawei Magic V2, is absolutely destroying in China. And I mean destroying, destroying. This phone is selling more than the iPhone 14 Pro Max in China. So I would not be surprised if eventually Huawei goes international with their affordable phones too. Now it depends on the price tag obviously. I know they had a one of their phones at $2,300. Hopefully they can get the price tag a little bit down before going international. But if it's doing that well in China, it's very possible if they go international, we could see a, you know, very interesting competitor joining the race of foldable cell phones. And I've always said how excited I am for OnePlus to be in here, Google to be in here, and obviously Samsung being the top dog right now. But that might not last long if these other companies really start, you know, picking it up and becoming absolute gems in this industry. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.